toi Good morning guys. We're waking up here in the beautiful town of Pisac, right outside of Cusco, where we have an amazing friend Sharon, who's let us park here. She watched Frank while we visited Machu Picchu, and today she's even making us breakfast. Let's go. I don't know what happened. Did you make these? Uh huh. No oh, way. <laughs> Sharon knows the way to my heart. Son, there ain't no other darling. You will never meet another bird that sings like me. Well, Sharon is a absolute angel that we've met on this trip. Not only is she giving us a secure place to park the van while we fly back to the States, she made us breakfast. She watched Frank while we went to Machu Picchu. And she has this amazing little compound. It's kind of hard to see from the ground, but when you're in the air, these little planter boxes, there's two sets, they make two flowers. She has all of these chickens and she has baby bunnies over here. There's adult bunnies and then she has a whole guinea pig house. This house is full of guinea pigs. But this is just a little slice of heaven right here in the Sacred Valley. And if you guys remember from our video a few days ago, right up on top of that mountain, is the Pisac ruins from the Sacred Valley. So she is like right in the center of this ancient indigenous area that's super fertile and has been sacred to the Quechua people for decades and generations. <sighs> it's so cool. I could really live here. Oh, Frank was having a little oh. bit too much fun in the cornfield. Oh, gross. I don't know if it's mud or poop. He's either got mud or poop all over him. This is Allie's worst nightmare. Yeah. This is so gross. So one to ten, how happy are you right now? I'm so not happy. I mean, it's awesome. I love, I love my life, I love my life. It smells like poop in here, but I love my life. Way to be. So we're here in the van, listening to some music, hanging out. Trent and I are actually taking the van all the way back over the mountain to Cusco for the day. We have a very fun day planned. Actually, we don't have many plans for the day, but we have some exciting people that we're gonna meet up with. Are you stoked, babe? I'm pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast was delicious. We got super cleaned up and uh, it's a beautiful day so far. Hopefully the weather holds and we should be in Cusco in just a couple minutes. When I think of the town Cusco, I just automatically think of the movie, The Emperor's New Groove, and the alpaca named, or maybe he was a llama, a llama, named Cusco. I was asking our tour guide, Jose, the other day, where does Cusco, the name, come from? This area is actually home to the Quechua people, and the Quechuan language is kind of an onomatopoeia language where the words are based on the sounds that things make. So the meaning of Cusco comes from the sound of two rocks banging together. It makes a ko ko sound. And so the way you actually pronounce it in Quechuan is Costco, like, uh, like the wholesale marketplace, Costco. That's the actual pronunciation of Cusco. And its namesake comes from the rocks and the mountains in this entire valley. As you can see, I'm in my Mexican headwear attire. Actually, I've got to fold that down. Now it's my Mexican headwear attire. <laughs> I gotta keep the sun off me down here. The sunscreen isn't enough. I'll probably like sweat it off. And the sun is just absolutely destroying my tender little ginger skin. We've got two friends that we are meeting up with. Yeah. But since our van does not fit down these roads, no, no. we had to park here. And we've got about a 15 minute walk into Cusco. Costco. Costco. It's so, so weird that we're all here together. It's good to see you. You want to say hi to the vlog? 
What up? This is, this is Kyle. This has been my best friend since I was 11 years old. I was just thinking it's like 21 years. So long. So long. Love, long. love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> All right, well, we are now joined with Kyle's friend, Skylar here. We are gonna jump in an Uber and we're gonna head to Sacsayhuaman, which is one of the really cool ruins here in Cusco. So a lot of times we try to do research and figure out what the ruins are about if we're not gonna pay for a guide. And today we don't have a guide, so we're gonna be taking the gringo tour, which I like to think of the gringo tour as you just walk around and go, ooh, ah, because you have no idea what you're looking at, but it's still pretty miraculous. So we made it to Sacsayhuaman. It's an amazing ruins right here outside of Cusco with a great vantage point over the city. This was actually originally a fortress. The whole thing is built like a maze. So it's meant for you to get lost and there's storage rooms for food in every part of these ruins. So you could hold thousands of people and hide from any type of infiltration. Cusco has so many ruins, it's literally insane. There are probably seven or eight different archeological sites just here in the valley and they're all so different. When we were buying our entrance tickets to get in here, the woman was asking if we wanted to get the pass for all the other five ruins in the area that we had never even heard of. And we've already been here for a few days researching all the different archeological sites. They just keep coming up, they're just everywhere. Well, we just got back from Sacsayhuaman, which was really amazing. Obviously, we've seen Machu Picchu, we've seen Oyatetambo, we've seen the Pisac ruins. So these ruins were a lot of big walls and like some really cool structures that were fascinating to see the walls with the giant stones that were, you know, fit together with the Incan method. But I think we're actually gonna stroll into town and grab some lunch. We've got a couple places on the menu that look really delicious. So we made it to Greenpoint Restaurant, which is actually an amazing local vegan place here in Cusco. Skylar recommended it to us. Yeah, so I, I was just looking it up and it says that they're just extremely passionate about um, creating vegan food that just tastes really good. So it's what I'm about. We love good food that tastes good, so we're yeah, excited yeah. and we're starving, so. We ordered a delicious pad thai and an amazing Indian korma curry. These were both delicious dishes. These guys got the tacos and then they got two different soups. This restaurant, Greenpoint, really knows what they're doing. And they even came over and offered us the local liquor that's here and it's called a Pisco Sour. Thanks, Greenpoint. Thanks, Great meeting you guys. We got energized from that food from Greenpoint. We're actually gonna head to a place called San Pedro Market. We've got a short walk through the city. We're gonna go through a nice little courtyard that has some really cool buildings. San Pedro Market's supposed to be amazing though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Jim Carrey. Yeah. We really enjoyed the San Pedro market. It's an enormous market with all these different types of stalls for clothing, food, crafts, perfect souvenirs, lots of opportunities for Christmas shopping. And uh, I think we all walked away pretty happy. 
it was pretty affordable, so we ended up with some sweaters, some hats. Well, we dropped Kyle and Skylar off here at their immaculate crazy hotel. We are gonna make a little trip back to let Frank out, feed him, and then we gotta grab our swimsuits. Because not only do we have dinner plans, but we've got after dinner plans. That food was delicious. But now we're gonna head back to these guys' hotel. They have a special treat for us. I'm very excited. Let's go. Kyle and Skylar are staying at a beautiful hotel and they actually got us an amazing gift tonight. The four of us are getting a little bit of spa time. We're gonna get a little bit of hot tub, some sauna, some steam room. Trent and I haven't done anything like this in a very long time. I'm really excited. We're both pretty tired. We've been walking all day. And now we're just gonna hang out with some good friends. Treacho sale. They were just showing us how to use the hot tub and the warm tub. Now they're taking us in to show us how the steam room works. We really enjoy a good spa day, and we rarely ever get them. So I'm having a blast here. It's amazing. There's like stations with different types of water pressure and water therapy. This is great. Brother. Love you, dude. I'm glad that worked out. Yeah, so awesome. Perfect. See you in Utah. Yeah, Let's party some more. Let's do some fun shit. Cool. See you for Christmas. Cool. Love All right. Guys. Easy, dude. Like saying goodbye to a brother. That was so amazing. That was amazing. It was completely random that we just happened to overlap a couple days while we were all here in Cusco. We yeah. didn't plan that and didn't expect that at all. <laughs> this just like happened by coincidence. Like maybe a week or two ago, we realized we were gonna be in the same place. That's oh, nice. and it's like almost snowing. Wow. It's raining it's and very cold. I think that's our guy. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna run to the Uber. We'll pick you back up in the van. Well, taking an Uber in the rain is never as fun as it looks, I think. Hi Frank, puppy. are you so excited? Yes. Guess oh, what yes. we get to do tomorrow? Guess what we get to do tomorrow? Oh, big day tomorrow. We get to take three airplanes to three airports and then we get to end up at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Oh. Yay Frank, yay Frank. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. I like don't want to get too excited though because so many things could always go wrong on these types of flights. We're flying with Frank. Hopefully, passport could, expire. passport could be expired. I just don't want to get excited at all. So nice sweater, by the way. Thanks, you like it? It's yeah. brand new. I got it today. It's really cute. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. It's very warm, actually. Nice. Thanks. We had an amazing time exploring Cusco today. It's a really cool city. Great restaurants. Great culture. Friendly people. Amazing landscapes. That was amazing catching up with Kyle, my old childhood friend. I'm gonna see him again in Salt Lake City when we go home for Christmas, so I guess we'll see him again shortly, which is awesome. But it was just really cool to basically run into him in South America and get to spend a day with him. And Skylar, it was great to meet Skylar as well. Yeah, so. it was fun. It's not every day you get to meet, meet up with your friend halfway around the world. Yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We love you guys. Thanks for coming along on this adventure. You guys know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already. We'll talk to you soon, guys. See you guys on the next one. Adios.